This is Darth Bills, joined here with Sign the Chosen, and this is the first ever episode of Local Legends. So, Sign, let's start off with a couple of stories about your upbringing, your backstory. Where are you from? So, I was born in Havana, Cuba. All right. And yes. uh, what brings you out here to Tampa? So, my parents brought me against my own will. That's um, right. Yeah, they kidnapped I was, I was you? Seven years old. Um, I mean, they're my parents, so I, 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 got, I just got to... Didn't have too much choice on that. Right. I feel that. Um, what keeps you in Tampa? Um... Well, I can't afford to live anywhere else. I, I don't blame you on that. It's pretty it's pretty cheap to move, you know? It only costs a few grand and stuff like that. If you all, no big deal. Um, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Probably somewhere where the a tropical climate, where um, hot winters, sure. um, rainy summers, like that. That's, you want to stick what you used to? Yeah, yeah. Like Tampa, Florida, that's, that's, what, I, that's what I like. So, you, ever, you ever seen snow? Yeah. No. No? Pictures, that's it. Pictures? You think you're ever going to go anywhere? You want a vacation somewhere you could see it? Probably to visit, yeah. but not live. I don't blame you on that. Uh, being here from uh, Tampa, yeah, the cold, I'm not the biggest fan of that, so I don't right, blame man. you. Um, Ass. It kind of, yeah. Um, what's some hobbies that you enjoy? Like, What do you like to do in your free time? Uh, on my free time, I play video games. I enjoy playing basketball, All exercise, right. exercising. Um, I enjoy spending time with family, um, friends. Fair enough. What video games do you play? I, I play, I still got 2K20. Sure. You know, um, I like my career. More into sports than like any shooters or stories, anything like that? I play shooters, but my favorite shooter is um, Titanfall and Battlefield. I can't decide okay. uh, Battlefield because it's, it feels realistic. Titanfall because they don't show how many times you die. So I'm reckless. There so. you go. I'm gonna move more on to like some music related. I mean, you are an artist that might be sort of fitting for this. So, right. uh, who are some of your biggest influences in your life? Uh, my biggest influence in like in music. Yeah. Um, so Kendrick Lamar is my biggest influence. I'm also influenced by uh, Future, Drake, Lil Wayne. Okay. Just the people that were able to sustain long careers in music. Hey, fair enough. People like that, man. What about uh, in your life? Who are some influences other than music? Um, of course, my my uh, my girlfriend. Shout out to her. Um, my friends, uh, people like you, my peers around me, my family, the people that tell me to keep making music, constantly engage every single day. People like those, the y'all are the ones that motivate me. So hey, people that spread around. positivity. That's always the thing, you know. Positivity breeds positivity. You definitely got them some good energy around you. That's why I keep bringing you back. Oh yeah, man. I'm a magnetic. What drives you? Like, what's something that motivates you? Um, the fear of failure. Um, I that's I relate yeah, to that heavy. Yeah, fear of failure. Fe fe um, I don't want to. I, I don't want to regret anything later on in my life. You got one life to um, live. Right. So even though I'm young now, I move expeditiously. I'm not trying to you know stay stagnant. Absolutely. So just progress every single day, learning every single day, things like that. So that's I, I just want to keep improving. So you said you're young. How old are you? Twenty two. Fucking youngin. Hey, at least you were uh, before the 2000s, so. Yeah, yeah, 98, that. baby, man. Uh, Hell yeah. If you're under two, if you're like born after 2000s, still keep watching. I'm, I might talk a little shit, but it's fine. Um, what are some goals you have for yourself musically? Of course, um, making a living out of music, because as a when you're starting off as a independent artist, it's very, very hard to get something moving. Um, do you mind uh, for some people who obviously don't make music, not too familiar with the scene? Do you, do you mind explaining a little bit about that? What about? Because I know I know there's definitely some cost that involved to it, but you know most people probably don't think about that. They're just like, oh hey, you just record whatever, you do whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not like I mean I'm somebody I focus on quality and I don't have the skills to be able to record myself, so mm -hmm. I always go to the studio. Of course. So imagine just paint. So I got say twenty around twenty songs out on all platforms. Of course, I recorded more over time. Of course. So imagine one hundred dollars per song, you know, okay. and and the money that you put into marketing, it kind of, you know. So it, you gotta have, you gotta be able to sell yourself. Of course, you gotta have skills. You know, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, it ain't cheap. I understand that. Um, right, man. Do you have any uh, favorite memories so far in your music career? 
performing for Mad Chillers, a show hosted by you. And Jabba, shout amazing. out Jabba. Oh yeah, uh, shout out Jabba, he's awesome. But no, that was definitely, uh, those are some of my favorite memories too. You gotta love the uh, Mad Chiller Night Show. If you haven't seen it, check out my IG. I think, you got anything posted from that yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got, a, there's a, on my YouTube, on Sign the Chosen YouTube, um, there's a whole live performance of it. So it's raw, unedited. I just wanted to, you know, just show everything that went down just the way that it, that it went. So if you haven't got a chance to see him live, I'll say he definitely brings some good energy. Uh, great live performer. So hopefully we'll be seeing more Mad Chiller World shows. If not, uh, we'll be we'll be we'll be booking you for more. So don't worry about it. Who are some artists that you enjoy collaborating with? Uh, bro, DZ for sh uh, Joey Stiletto. He's number one. Uh, priority. Bro, yeah. it takes priority. Yep. Ron Mercy. Shout um, out. Uh, Joey Stiletto, Piro Beats, um, Arc Star, Bro DZ. Uh, I'm gonna work with Lonely soon. He's oh, yeah. a, I know him for a while. That's a good friend of mine. So, oh yeah, those people they're awesome. Is there uh, anybody, guys. whether either locally or globally, that you haven't collaborated with that you want to? Um, I mean, a lot of artists I would like to co collaborate with. I mean, the, the Michael Jackson. God bless him, man. Of course, I, I would love to work with him. Um, but right, like, I see myself working with Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. So, Future, uh, Drake, Joey Badass. Just to work with some of your, like, your biggest, like, inspirations and stuff. Like, that oh, would yeah. be, hey, I think that would definitely be the goal if you could make it to the big time and, like, work with some of the people who helped you start making music. Yeah. That would be, I uh, can't think of anything better myself. How do you cope with writer's block? Uh, I don't, I mean, it's all, it's, you just got to get started, honestly, because mm -hmm. if you're just thinking about, oh my God, I'm stuck. You're not gonna do anything. For sure. Once you get into the flow of writing or painting, whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. you're, gonna, you're gonna get something out of that. So For sure. you just push, through, just push through, honestly. Yeah, because everybody does suffer writer's block, but that's something obviously, you, I, I, I agree with that. You gotta push forward, because if you're just like sticking with those negative thoughts, you ain't, you ain't never gonna make it. You, right, man. You gotta have that. Um, do, you, do you have anybody else that might help push you, or is it all, all in your own head? You're just like, no, I gotta sit down and get it done. Um, I mean, I, I listen to other music and sure. I look at lyrics too, cause I, I'm, uh, I take pride in lyrics. So um, for sure, yeah, I just listen to other lyrics. I see how people construct their words and the delivery. So I just apply the same thing to yeah. Try to learn from to other me. people's music, yeah. let it uh, kind of like, cause that's one thing you can kind of take that anywhere. It doesn't have to just be music. Obviously, you can learn from somebody else and build on top of that. Right. Cause there's no one way to make music. There's no one way to live life. So yeah. just make sure you add your own sauce to it though. Don't copy true. nobody. So yeah, we don't fuck with that. Right. <laughs> None of that. What's your favorite song that's out right now? Uh, my favorite. Uh, bands by Sign the Chosen. Y'all gotta check it out. It's a good yeah. one. I've heard it. Uh, Sign, he, he's all right. You might want to check him out. I don't. I don't know why I'd interview him if I didn't like him. You know, let's be real. Uh, <laughs> do you have an album that's uh, like your favorite of all time? Um, wow. So I would say To Pimp a Butterfly by Okay by Kendrick Lamar, man. I'll be honest, Good Kid, Mad City's mine, but I'll respect it. Like, hey, if it, if it's any Kendrick album, you, you got some respect for me. He's if yes. you ever watch this. You're the GOAT. Let me interview you. Don't yeah, worry about that. We're going to meet. We're going to meet. It's going to happen. We got to collab with him one day. Um, so how long have you been making music? So I'm 22 now. So I've been making music since I was 19. Mm -hmm. So like going on three years now, four years soon. What, uh, what got you into making music? Um, ever since I was little, I've been, you know, around music, you know, in Cuba. Cuban families, there's always parties going on. Sure. So um, I, I just grew to to have, I, I naturally had rhythm, sure. um, but the rapping, I was influenced by Lil Wayne when I heard him on the radio. Okay. Uh, I had a poster of 50 Cent where, um, where the cover where um, it's like the glass broke, okay. something like that. Okay. And, awesome. and yeah, I just, growing up, I seen people do it and it's, it looks like, I, I like attention, you know? Sure. So, so I see all these people rapping, making music. So I'm like, you know what? I want to rap too. Fair. You know, what, so. what was like, a, did you have a defining moment that like basically made you say, you know what? I could do this too. Uh, when people, when I would ask people for feedback and they would say, keep going. Honestly, Fair. it's, 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 um, it's 50% other people and then 50% myself. For sure, because I mean, hey, you can bump your own music all day long, but that ain't going to put you to the big leagues, so right. definitely got to have the support of your friends, family, all that, for sure. Right, man. Um, what is your favorite song or project that you've personally come out with? Um, my song, Power, man. Yeah? 
Cause it's it's about like money ain't the prize. We want power. We ain't asking. Like m- money doesn't isn't the only thing that runs the world. Mm-hmm. You know you gotta have education. You gotta be intelligent. You gotta have confidence. So the, all those those things they equate to having power. You know so it, it's deep like that. And and just the fact that I had a like a new school type of beat. It was kind of sure. grungy, ugly beat. And I was just adding that lyricism on it. Sure. It, it, it snapped. So, I mean, yeah, hey. I, that's my favorite song. Y'all need to check it out. So. I'll be honest. Uh, what put me on to be a sign of Chosen Fan is when I first heard Gems. That was probably yeah. a, like a brand new song right when it came out. So, hearing that live, that definitely turned me on to you. Oh, I mean, yeah, hey, you, like I said, you bring that energy. Uh, you got some, like, you know, some fast paced rap. You got, you got some bass to your voice. You definitely, um, you, bring, you bring that. Like, yeah, plain and simple. You, really uh, you, Power is definitely a good song. Check out Power, Bands, Gems. All 20-something songs he's got. Oh, yeah, there's more by. coming this year. Definitely, yeah. man. Hey, we ain't never going to stop. Right. Um, are you currently working on any projects, or have you finished anything recently that you want to talk about? Um, so I'm focusing on, I mean, I may drop a project at the end of this year, but it really depends on how the crowd reacts, That's honestly, because, right. you know, you just don't want to put music out yeah. on deaf ears. Hey, like so. you said, it's 50-50 what you like, also what your fans like. you Right. Got to take some uh, inspiration from everybody. Right, man. Yeah, I make I make music mostly for other people. I mean, it's a great outlet for me, but if I if I didn't want other people to hear, it, I wouldn't put it out. So that's respectable. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> you don't want to have any bad songs out there. I mean, why would you? Right. Um, <laughs> it, let's say you had a song you put out, you might have been feeling at one point. If you don't like that, would you would you keep it up there for the fans? Would you take nah, it down? I delete it. Nah, I I used to be like no. Um, let me leave it up. People are streaming it, but honestly, it's like like I don't ever see myself like if, if anybody was to ask me about that song, I wouldn't speak good about it. So sure. I just I mean I leave all my music on SoundCloud. Everything mm-hmm. I've ever uploaded is on SoundCloud. My original music, but on streaming platforms, nah, just that's more for Which like. Is fair. Yeah. I'm not sure if everybody would say that. I mean, I don't have anybody in specific, but obviously that's a good thing. You know, you'd rather just have your best, best work out there. So I can respect that. Um, right, man. Do you have any music videos out? I mean, I already know the answers, but... Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I got four videos out. And there's more videos coming. So mm-hmm. so if anybody sees my videos, like, if you like it, of course, drop a like. And But I'm always looking for feedback. I'm always trying to improve, make sure that the music is well, the videos look amazing. Mm-hmm. Just so, you know, so people could fuck with it. So Absolutely. Yeah, man. Um, are there any videographers that you like working more with than others? Um, I mean, Joey Saletto is the only one I work with. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, there are plenty videographers out there, but I feel like, like, you know, when I like keeping my circle tight, so sure. I rather grow with him and you know just work with him, and sure. so, so we could grow together. Obviously, you know? there's a lot of big. Um you can kind of, if you have that chemistry with somebody, you could obviously build and grow with it. So right, right. It's an empire, man. Absolutely. Right. Universal empire. Right. Just, yeah. <laughs> um, what does making it look like to you? Making, just being happy, um, not having to depend on anybody for shit. Sure. Uh, being able to get your own money and taking care of those people you love. Being able to provide jobs for other people mm-hmm. so they can make a living. Being able to teach the youth not spreading poison in the world, you know, be, be, being looked at as somebody inspirational. For sure. Yeah, the scale to me doesn't necessarily matter. Sure. But I mean, with the way I, the way I am, there's mm-hmm. gonna be like millions of people fucking with me, you know. So, so it, it's inevitable, honestly. For sure. I mean, it's pretty selfish, respectable, obviously. I want to name drop Nipsey Hustle, kind of sound something like that. Obviously, you're uh, not just trying to make it by yourself. Like, you know, boy. you want to be able to build up like like a brand, something yeah, that man. other people can work with. Because obviously, not everybody can make music. Not everybody has like that taste. So it's like, obviously, if you're trying to bring back love to the community, it's very respectable. Something that I'd like to do one day. So. Oh, yeah, you are, man. Definitely. Trying. I see it. Trying out here. <laughs> um, where do you see yourself a year from today? A year from today, probably... Um making money off music like just having you know making profit because i've invested thousands in music you know so it's it's going to be time for me to see something back and a year from now um living in my own place with my lady um just my friends healthy my family healthy just see everybody making it right me in great shape things like that and just continuing to work and and just capitalize on just planting seeds right. so they could grow as well. 
Can I hold you accountable and do a part two a year from of today? Of course. Of course, bro. Hell yeah. We'd love to uh, relive yeah. this, see, see where yeah. uh, life takes us for sure. That'd be a pretty uh, amazing yeah, opportunity. Man. What is the next step for you? Like, next step? Um, I mean, ju just, to keep, just to keep pressing the gas, honestly. Keep kicking the door down. You know, um, I'm, I haven't always been accepted by the majority of people. So, sure. like, whether they like me or not, like, just continue to be in their face. You okay. know, haters are the biggest motivator. That's so, okay. bars. <laughs> bars. But, uh, but just, just, just keep, keep gaining momentum, mm -hmm. honestly. Be everywhere. Omnipotence. Be everywhere stop. at the same time. Never stop. Right, man. Always keep grinding. Always keep hustling. Just... As long as you're improving every single day, as long as you're happy with what your work is, I mean, ain't nothing better than that. Right, man. Um, do you think uh, social media plays any big presence in that? Do you like like to keep up your social media? Do you think that plays an important part? <sighs> man, I have a weird relationship with social media because um, most of the time it's just people that look, honestly. People yeah. that just look at what you do, don't contribute anything to you. But in the business I'm in, um, I know... I do understand that social interactions are important. So mm -hmm. you wanna you wanna put yourself out there. You wanna show the people that do care about you. You wanna show more For sure. of you to them, you know, so they could, you know, hopefully um, they help you sustain your life. For sure. You know what I mean. So I think you'd agree. You don't want to like put too much into that. You don't want to play too right. much part. But obviously, you gotta have a little bit to. Right. Yeah, you still gotta you still gotta enjoy life. Honestly, like I mean, social media is just that things you've done. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it doesn't. It doesn't really impact you in, in the decisions you make daily. You know, it's just, oh, I did this. Let me show my sure. friends, family, things like that. When, yeah, a good way for people to keep in touch with you, see what you're up to and stuff. Yeah, man. When, when, people, when people try to make, make it, you know, all about just getting attention, if it's not a business, you're, I don't think you're living a good you know, you, I don't think you're on a good path in life. For sure. Because, you know? I mean, you obviously have to market yourself, like your brand, your presence, everything like oh, that. Because yeah. cause music is a business. That's one thing I think some people don't really get a good hold of. It's obviously, hey, yeah. but you definitely got to be able to just market yourself, for sure. Yeah, but we still got to make it fun for the audience. Though. Of course. Like, they, they don't really care about the business stuff. Honestly. No, I mean, that's more for, obviously, for your sake. That's the behind yeah. the scenes. That's something, but... Obviously, hey, you you, gotta, you have like an image to uphold. You have stuff like that. But of course. There's of course, definitely man. two sides to every story. Um, so your last project, No Justice, No Peace, obviously touches on some pretty important, uh, pretty important things that happen in the world with George Floyd, with everything that's happened, even dating back, you know, the 1940s, Emmett Till, everything that oh, yeah, hasn't stopped. Right. Um, is there anything that you want to say or speak on? Because obviously, hey, I can go ahead, I can listen to that song or I can listen to your album, like hear from that. But for people who haven't heard this project yet, do you have any words that you want to put in regards to it so i mean it's pretty it's pretty straightforward the message i want to send with that no justice no peace it's like it's you know when i when the protests were going on last year um during the climax of covid there was there was a lot you know no justice no peace no racist police people were sh chanting that and me i'm like i was like at first i thought why why go out there what is the purpose of that and why riots happen so mm -hmm. that is like that that um album represents what my perception of the people who are rioting okay. per se my song scared of us refers to um fuck with the gang and you in trouble you know like if you if you mess with us as a group if you mess with people that that stand for certain beliefs um, as a in in bulk, then they're gonna retaliate and of course. you know and you can't beat numbers, you know. There's gonna you, you just gotta as as a government you wanna you work for your people. You of can't course. be selfish. And obviously, you know? uh, so, I don't know if it's ever really been like that, but obviously that's that's what it's supposed to be. But it doesn't seem like that is the case. Right, right. I mean, but there, there, I mean, there, of course, I'm, I'm sure not everybody's all bad. Of course, no. but the bad guys are more. Um, there's more emphasis on what they do because it's negative. So, you know, if you're if you're constantly doing bad stuff, people are gonna get angry and they're gonna retaliate. And I mean, that that's just what it is. I mean, and I feel like people know? are obviously <laughs> trying to pay more attention, um, starting to hold more government officials accountable. Or at least that's the hope that yeah, we'll they, see that yeah. going forward. Yeah, like uh, on, on Twitter, we catch people like that, man. Mm. You know, but. Twitter is just not enough. You know, not words aren't enough. It, it involves action. 
you want to do what you can for your people, for your tribe. Mm -hmm. And if you work hard and hope everybody else is working hard, then, I mean, you should live a good life. Of course. At the end of the day, it's about the life that you live. It's not about everyone else, you know, so. For sure, you're the only person that's in your own head. You're the only person buried in your own grave. But at the same time, you can't live life without other humans. You always see people all the time. So right. I guess that goes back into positivity. Spread it back because obviously, hey, if you just breed negativity, it's just going to come back to you tenfold. Mm -hmm. What do you think the future holds for the music scene here in Tampa? In Tampa, oh my God, man, I'm about to rant. Talk your shit. But Talk your shit. Um, I mean, of course, there's a there's a lot that. <laughs> Let me sit. All right, we're getting serious now. Yeah, because it's. I mean, a lot of issues. Some things are very serious, and people need help. You know, there's a music business, and then there's like people in the music business. Sure. You know, if you're somebody in the music business and you're struggling with like. You know, um, you're having you know, depression, mental illnesses, mm -hmm. you need to get help. You can't spread that energy amongst other people that are focusing on the music business. Sure. You know, you can't do music for the wrong reasons. You can't make it all about you. So if you're if you're if you're out here like just spreading poison and just just projecting your vices onto other people, it's gonna I mean how you you can't really say anything about the scene because you know, you're contrib you're not contributing anything positive. And to I mean, it. in that case, like they no. are part of the scene, like they're they're doing the same shit that right, they're talking right. against. And it's, I mean, and the, another thing is like, there's no, there's no, there's a lack of leadership. Like, we just allow anybody in when they really shouldn't be like that. If you want a community to grow, you need to have a culture and stick to that shit, because it's it's not gonna benefit anybody. You know, and then and then we grow up bitter. In this in this scene, and then we don't want to help anybody. We want to stay away from shows, scenes, things like that. I mean, I'm one of those people, but I still make an effort to surround myself with, you know, people that are serious about this mm -hmm. shit and people that care about um, your audience, because that's what it's all about. It's not it's not like oh I'm this shit, I'm this oh stream that shit. Just sending stop sending links to my fucking bio, bro. Just stop sending links. Like say good morning first, <laughs> you know. Say, say something. A lot of you people. Know, that, a lot of people. I feel like they do care a lot about their image, stuff like that. So they're just gonna be sending, "Hey, give me some likes, comment, shares." Yeah. But you know, either they don't show love back, or it's fake love, or whatever. That right. Be. And those people, those people are gonna, they're gonna perish. You know, I've been in this scene for around two years, mm -hmm. and the, I've seen people come and go. Yeah. Honestly, even in that short amount of time, I mean, for sure. right, right, man. The, the the fact that I'm still being embraced by people, and you know the the people that put me on shows like you, mm -hmm. that that means a lot because I plan on take taking y'all all the way, for you sure. know. Because if I if I'm somebody that's serious, okay, I'm assuming you're serious too. If yeah, you're, if you're friends with me, so to build off that, that's one thing that. I like to say is, you know, I just want to find all the people that are out here that are positive, that are trying to make it, that are being serious about it. Because at the end of the day, I mean, that's like, what are we living for? Like, if, right. if you're not serious about what you're doing, if you're not trying to build and grow, like, why are we out here? Like, yeah, what, are you, what are you doing it for? And, and I mean, if you like making music for fun, go for it. But mm -hmm. if you're putting it out and you expect, like, and you're not taking the proper pro steps to, you know, grow and expand mm -hmm. and... and, and Treating your audience like you know how with respect, mm -hmm. then don't put music out, bro. Just okay. stay, just record it, just leave it in your vault. Like there's no, like if you really want to make it a business, do your research, man. Okay. You yeah. know I should I shouldn't be I shouldn't be in this scene two years and no more than people have been in this for a long longer time. For sure. It's like, like, you, you, like, comes to they need to put that effort forth. Like, obviously, like, yeah. a lot of people think they could just will things into existence. And I mean, to an extent, you obviously can, hey, them, but you have to put that effort and you have to put the time and have the knowledge for it. Right, you can't right. just wish right. something happens and it will. Yeah, and there's just people that put music out and, like, oh, but, bro, you gotta, there's marketing, there's business, there's statistics that go into this shit, bro. Mm -hmm. If you're not, if you're not moving, then just get out, honestly. Like, stop trying to mingle with everybody. Like, like McDonald's is hiring. You <laughs> feel me? Like, it's not, it's not, you don't have to, you know, be, you don't have to stay here. And that's okay. We still love you. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you're going to, you, you either get yourself out or you fall hard. You know what I'm saying? You for do, sure. you do all, you put all this effort just for nothing. Yeah. So, and I. Can't be me, so. All right, respect that. 
<laughs> um, do you have any final words for the viewers, for the fans, or for any potential future sign cho- sign the chosen fans? Right. Uh, so I don't I don't call my um, supporters fans sure. because it's like like that's a fan right there. You feel me? Okay. Um, and a, a, a fan is also like a fanatic that that's like you're obsessed with me. No, people got their own lives to live. Sure. Yeah, like you fuck with my music, but I mean it's not I'm, like. Like, whether you fuck with it or not, I'm still eating. You feel me? I'm still going to... There's going to be people I do fuck with. There's going to be people For that sure. don't. So, you're always going to have lovers. Right. You're always going to have haters. I refer I refer to the people that support me as chosen ones. Because if you support what I do, then you, you're what I am. Okay. You know? So, so I mean... But what I would say is um, just keep striving to be the best person. The best... Just keep striving to be the best of you as possible. Mm-hmm. Um treat other people with respect, handle your shit. If anybody disrespects you, of course, handle it right there and then. Um, don't make your life, don't, don't spend too much time on social media. Don't, don't, don't look to find entertainment on social media. You know, just build, make, build a life that you're happy with and you're satisfied with. Hey, I can definitely and, agree with all and that. And take care of your health too. Mental health is important. Mental health, physical health. Physical health too, yes. Yeah, don't, don't let yourself go for sure. Um, legs twerking. Oh, I got you. We got I, I do got one more for you. I, I forgot yes, to ask sir. it earlier. Um, where does the name "Sign the Chosen" come from? So my first, my name is Dennis Herrera Sama. My first name is um, uh, my my sign is Dennis backwards. So okay. S I N E D. So um, and the Chosen, of course, I already explained that it, it stands from like okay, now I, I'm the like. I think I'm the shit. I'm confident. Mm-hmm. You know, um, anybody that's a chosen one, you, you're the shit too. You're confident. The world is your playground. So, do, and, and do your best to like, just live a life of abundance. Mm-hmm. You know, every, everything that comes to you, you deserve. You know, so it's, it's very f- philosophical. I am a fan of philosophy, so. Do you think you're going to oh, be yeah. a famous philosopher? Fla- 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 nah. Falafel. Falafel. Fla- yeah. Falafel. Waffle. Waffle? Waffle House? Blue Waffle. All right. Um, um, we probably might cut that Waffle House part out of there. It's <laughs> fine. All right. Um, I do appreciate you for coming out. Uh, first of all, thank you for being the first one on uh, Local Legends. Hell yeah, Thanks man. for supporting me. You know I'm going to continue supporting you. Course, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where life takes you, where your music takes you and everything. And you know I'm going to keep looking forward to working with you because I don't intend to stop throwing shows. I don't intend to stop working with the, the Tampa artists and artists throughout the entire country as the time goes on. But again, thank you. Um, looking forward to seeing this on here. But uh, gang shit. Ah! Chosen. Yeah. All right.